Steve Zane here. I'm going to show you what, how I installed my Mate Series uh, cup and rod holders, only because I want to use for cup holders, for fishing poles, and also I want to add shade sail poles in the bow of the boat. So I used the 15 degree combination cup and rod holder, and I'm going to show you how I put those on the boat. Enjoy. 30 foot sea, uh, sea hunt. Um, I've got rod holders. I've installed other rod holders down the side already. But I want to put a, I want to put a shade sail on the bow. And I'm going to add with the, um, going to use the, the Mate Series cup, combination cup and rod holder. And uh, what I want to do is install these things, but there's no room for putting a backing plate. I'll show you. Here's where the shade sail is going to go up in the front. But you, as you notice, there is no access to get a backing plate or nuts or anything on the back of it. So I reached out to our friends at uh, Safety uh, Mate Series. There's, a, there's the oval one. And I'm putting a round one up in the front here. I chose the, I chose the Mate Series because they're very high quality stainless steel. And I, I met with Mike over there and talked to him a few times. I got the 15 degree I'm putting in the bow here. But I, I explained to him my, my situation. I have no room for backing plate whatsoever here. And then Mike, being Mike's mechanical engineer, um, he's the one that came up with the, with the Mate Series, a combination cup and rod holder. And he came up with horseshoe backing plate. And I'm gonna show you how to use this. I'm, I'm just gonna show you how, how I, because after talking with Mike at, at the Mate Series, gave me a real good tips on how to install this thing. How you can drill a hole, I'm gonna fish this through and hold it up underneath it and I'll show you. And uh, it's, it's an amazing little tool they've had there. The, the regular backing plate is completely circle all the way one piece. And you know, the rod, the rod holder combination go like that come up from underneath when you get access from underneath it i don't have access to it on this piece here before i drill my hole i'm, I'm laying out where i want it to i'm gonna um there's a blue painter's tape with a couple layers there i want to keep the fiberglass from chipping as much as possible you see there i'm using a three and a quarter inch hole saw blade on this thing Very easy to do if you're nervous while drilling a boat hole in your first in your first boat. Just, it's, it's easy to do. Just take your time. It's hard to do when you're with only one hand hold it, but there you go. Holes drilled, got the bit out of there. There's a hole. As you see, I got the plug out. It's it's thick, but it, there's not much for, for if you just put some um, sheet metal screws in there. There ain't much to back it up, so that's why I really want to back it, place, especially when I'm putting a shade sail, and it's gonna be a lot of tension towards being pulled towards the hard top. So I want a backing plate on that because there's really, you could screw it down, but for a rod holder may hold up, but I actually would recommend backing plates of, if, whenever you can get at it. Yeah, I got the cup rod holder just laid just laid in the, in the hole for dry fitting it. Now I need to pre-drill each one of these holes here. I'm using a quarter by 20 um, screws and say the backing plate's already got the, the nuts incorporated into it. It's gonna go like this and screw into it. Um, so I want I want the hole just a little bit bigger than that quarter twenty, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, so that uh, the screw has a little bit of a little bit of play there. So I'm going to pre-drill these guys. you're drilling for rod holders always look what's underneath it because my my sea hunt has a big flare to it and you see you can see the the flare of the boat is coming into it but this this rod holders it's going to angle back in this way so
you can see where the backing plate was screwed on the back side of it. Um, it's a little tip that Mike told me about. Uh, use uh, it's quarter twenty bolts screws because you need you, you need two. Being it's horseshoe, it's gonna fit in like so. You gotta be careful not to drop it. So what I'm gonna do is stick it in there, and I'll show you. By holding the, the horseshoe thing in there, I'm gonna put one of the bolts through the screw and tighten it down. There you guys started. I'm gonna tighten this down as much as I can to hold, it'll hold this horseshoe up in place for me. Okay, I got one screw holding the backing plate, and if you can see it inside there or not, and hold it up in place. Now Mike being his mechanical engineer, tell me about this little tip. Get I got two six two six inch long um, quarter by twenty screws. What's going to do is I got this screw holding the backing plate all the way up. They're they're lined up there where I can just if I don't, that backing plate will fall to the floor down in the, and that there's no way of getting it back. I want to make sure it's secure in there I'm always doing a dry fit to make sure everything fits the backing plates up there in place got one screw held tight in place here it's up underneath got a uh, bead of caulking there ring caulking now I'm gonna drop the combination cup rod holder in there Mike had told me what he was doing, came up with being a mechanical engineer. That's where I'm these place these uh, six inch long screws and bolts are gonna go through here. Now that that screws out. I can drop the I can drop the holy bit in place. And the longer screws are pulling the backing plate up to where I need it to be. As you can see. Okay, I got these screwed down. Shade pole fits in there. And you want a backing plate on that because with that shade sail pulling on it, a lot of tension you're gonna you're gonna want that back you plate otherwise those screws will pull right out of there and okay, now i'm ready for a day of sandbarring or fishing got, got my mate series cup rod holder combination got my shade sail poles in the bow i make the shade sail and we'll show that next later on very easy to install with the backing plates you can see how very sturdy these things are There's a lot of tension pulled on these things when the, when the shade's on there so I'm very happy with the, with the Mate Series. Glad I went with the Mate Series version with the horseshoe backing plates. Because as you look, there's no access anywhere underneath these to put. Only other op option I would have had would have had to cut a big hole in the side and add one of these access ports. But I didn't want that look on my boat. I was more of a, looking for a nice cleaner look. Oh, and I think I think I found it. I know I did find it with the Mate Series combination cup rod holder. Both ready to fish and sandbarring.